This lesson is going to focus on ordering fractions on a number line. We're going to try and bring them from three-dimensional models into a linear number line. Um, the big idea that we're focusing, focusing on is the more fractional parts used to make a whole, the smaller its parts. For example, eighths are smaller than fifths. So if this is our number line and we want to show what does one half look like? We can go back to our three-dimensional model. So here's our fraction circle. And if we cut it in half, we get, if we cut into two parts, we get a half. So can we do that with our number line? Now, if fraction circles are a little bit complicated, we could also use our fraction strips. So here's my hole and I cut it into two parts. So where would I find half on this number line? And what we would be looking for is, well, if we folded this paper in half, there would be our half right here. So we can even put it, here's what half looks like. If we went to a third, what does a third look like? So we go back to our fraction circles, and here's our circle divided into three pieces. And here's our fraction strip that's been divided into three pieces. So here's what our third is going to look like. Now, folding this paper might be a little tricky, so if we use the string, we can say up to my thumbnail is going to be my number line. Now I need to get this into thirds. Now I would ask the students to figure out how are you going to fold this so that I get three equal parts. And hopefully little Johnny is, or little Susie is going to come up with a method. Well. If I take all my two ends and put them in different directions, Oops, do that again. so from about here to here. So there's my third. Now our next fraction is a quarter or fourth. And here's my fraction circle cut into four pieces. So here's what that model is going to look like. And here's my, my strip in four. So here's what this is going to look like. And we could use our string again. You really don't want them to be counting the tick marks. Number one, it may not, it probably would be better if you had none on there to begin with anyway. So it's going to be about this long. So it's going to go to here. does it look like? So here's my fraction circle into five equal parts. And here's my fraction strip in five equal parts. And it's going to go here. Now, we can even just start looking what's happening to our circles as our denominator. The bottom number gets bigger, we're cutting them into more parts. What's happening to our fraction? And let's do 
Let's do one twelfth. So here's our circle. So our circle now becomes a sliver. So now we want the students to visualize what do you see that's common? Do you see a pattern here? Are the small numbers at the beginning? When we count in whole numbers, our small numbers come first. Does the same thing hold true in a fraction? 